So here's kind of a fun example of using Storyline to perform some calculations. On this slide, we're asking the learner to enter some little bits of information, and then we're going to take that information and tell them how much money their employer is going to contribute in matching funds to their retirement account. Okay, so the first question is, what's your annual salary? We'll go ahead and enter a value here. And next, we need to say how much we plan to contribute to our 401k. How about we just choose 2%. And then the third piece of information is how many years until retirement. So let's be optimistic here and we'll say six. So in this example, we should, when we hit the calculate button, we should see a value of, let's see, it would be $240, right? So 2,000 times 2% is going to be 40 and then times by six is 240. So let's see if that works. We'll hit calculate and there's our value of 240. So that worked. Now, if we wanted to, we could go back here and enter some different amounts. So let's enter 5,000 and how about 1%? So that would give us, what, $50? And then how about we have to work nine years more? So that would end up being 450, right? So if we calculate, then we come up with 450. So you can see how the uh, calculation um, result is going to change depending on what the learner enters. So let's take a look behind the scenes here at how this is done. What I did to do this was I first created a few variables. If we open up our project variables panel here, I've got this variable called match calc, and that's what I used to display the total on the results layer. And then I also created a few more variables for the match percent that the learner gets to choose and also their annual salary and the number of years till they retire. And now if we look at our triggers here, let me just scroll down a little bit so you can see some of the triggers that I set up for those calculations. These first three that we look, we're looking at right now um, for, that go with the three buttons, these are just triggers that set the value of match percent equal to whatever the learner you know, happens to choose on the second part of the, the series of questions. And then I've also got a couple of variables further down. Two of them are created for me by Storyline. Okay, so this one where um, the salary amount gets saved with a variable, that is done for me when I enter or when I insert my data entry field. Um, so Storyline did that for me. And then Storyline also created another um, trigger here that stores this value inside of a variable. And I just renamed them years till retire and annual salary just so that I could keep them straight in my head because the default names um, you know, weren't quite as intuitive. So this um, middle trigger right here, though, is one that I added. What I did is I set my match calc value. Uh, at first, I set it equal to the value of salary. And the reason why is on the, um, on the results layer, I'm going to use that um, to multiply a couple more times uh, to get my value. And so let's just switch over there so we can take a look at that. So um, match calc um, at first is just going to be equal to the value of the learner's salary. And then this first trigger multiplies it by the match percent and then multiplies by the years till the learner retires. So it's pretty simple. It's just kind of a couple different multiplication operations there. And then to display it on the slide, I have this reference to the variable right here. I entered a dollar sign in my text box and then if you come up to the insert tab and then choose reference you can choose whichever variable value you want to display. So I chose match calc and then it got inserted on my slide just like this with the little percent signs around it and that's what's going to be replaced with the actual value when the learner hits that calculate button. And then back on my base layer um, I also did a couple of other things. Well, first of all, I added a trigger to my calculate button, of course, which is going to show, if we scroll down a little bit here, it's going to show my results layer when the learner clicks on that, but only if everything is complete on these, you know, these three areas that I want the learner to enter. So to do that, you can add some conditions to the trigger. So here we're saying show that results layer when the learner clicks, but only if they've entered a salary that's greater than zero, um, they've entered a number for you know years till retirement that's greater than zero and their match percent is greater than zero. Now if it's not greater than zero, here's what happens. They're going to see a layer called incomplete. So I've got a couple of triggers for that and you can take a look at the file in the forum post to de deconstruct. But I'll show you what it looks like um, if the learner does happen to leave something blank. So let's say we forget to enter our salary but we enter you know our percent and our years till retirement, we hit calculate and we get this little message. So we'd have to go back and you know enter everything in there in order to see the value.